So Rumble, some of you guys might have heard of it, some of you guys might not have, so let me introduce you to it. Essentially, it's a video sharing platform similar to YouTube where it pays you to upload videos to its platform. And it actually has been around since 2013, but it started getting a lot of traction last year in 2021 after it dubbed itself as being immune to cancel culture. And doing so, it attracted a lot of conservative users to its site. Recently, it claimed that it gets 150 million users on their site site monthly and I even checked out that claim and they're pretty spot on on their numbers. Now I actually already re-uploaded most of my videos on this channel onto Rumble a few months ago and I already made, you ready for this, a whopping one cent. Okay. However, in my opinion, Rumble is still in its infant stages and is not ready for a lot of those niche video topics, which my videos are about. And instead, it's very similar to YouTube in its earlier stages where almost everybody uploading videos to it were either baby videos or cute pet videos. And if you take a look on Rumble's viral tab, almost every video on there is either pet related or baby related. However, there are two key differences between them. First is Rumble has no monetization barrier, meaning you can start uploading videos today and start making money if it gets enough views. You don't have to wait for 1000 subscribers or 4000 watch hours like you have to with YouTube. Second, Rumble is a video syndication platform, meaning if you choose their exclusive video managing license when uploading your video, it won't just upload your video to Rumble, but also Rumble will upload your video to their third party partners such as Yahoo, MSN, and even AOL, which I did not know was still a thing, but it will upload to multiple different platforms, including their YouTube channel that has 2 million subscribers. From their income there, you'll get 90% from YouTube and 60% from all other platforms, including Rumble. All right, so I'm planning on using two different strategies. The first one is going through my own camera roll on my phone and picking out videos that I think can go viral, which I already went through all my camera roll. And uh, let's not talk about how long it took me to go through almost 3000 videos on my phone. Nonetheless, I found about 10 videos that I'm going to be uploading. The second strategy is going to be following what these YouTube rumble gurus are saying to do, which is going on YouTube and going under the Creative Commons section and basically downloading videos from there which are free to use for the public. So I'm excited to start this challenge and see if we can actually make hundreds of dollars a day on Rumble like people claim. So let's begin. All right guys, so it's been three weeks since my first upload on Rumble on July 1st, and I've been uploading consistently on my free time until July 14th, so two weeks. And this last week, I just gave it a week for the views to kind of catch up. In total, I've ended up uploading 17 videos, and out of those, 12 of them got monetized. I guess Rumble doesn't really like people popping up in the videos or talking, so that was something I learned. I experimented with different upload formats and thumbnails, and our most viewed video got seven views only. So it's already not looking too promising. However, let's continue to phase two of the plan, which is me getting a text message, which is me re-uploading YouTube videos from the Creative Commons sections over onto Rumble so we don't get copyrighted. I'll probably do that for another two weeks on my spare time as well and just schedule upload those. And then I'll check in back with you guys probably in two or three weeks. So it's been 41 days since my first upload on July 1st, and I've continued uploading all the way up to August 1st. I know I said I'd keep uploading for another two weeks, but I had to cut it short since the YouTube re-upload videos were not getting monetized. So I think Rumble's algorithm caught on to people re-uploading videos from YouTube onto their platform. Even though I cut the video times and added different background noises, only two out of the eight videos that I've re-uploaded onto Rumble got monetized. 
playlist. And not to mention, most of the videos on YouTube's Creative Commons section is already a re-uploaded video of someone else's content. So that's just asking to get copyright issues. From the full month of uploading in July, we uploaded a total of 25 videos. And from those 25, only 14 got monetized. And the most views that we got was eight views, which was on two separate videos, even with me changing my channel username to attract more conservative users. So with that being said, it doesn't make sense to continue uploading videos to Rumble, especially now since I finally got approved into Instagram's Reels bonus program where you get paid to upload videos there. And I already made $75 there just re-uploading two videos from my story into the Reel platform, which took way less effort because a lot of these rumble uploads it's still buggy and the thumbnails become all stretched and you have to fix it manually amongst other problems with uploading through rumble now do i think you can still make money on rumble yes but it's not going to be as easy as it probably was before you would probably have to have your own niche page like i've seen somebody just has a page with just their dogs and just keeps uploading the same videos I think that's the best way to go. I think the whole thing with re-uploading videos from YouTube is pretty much dead. It actually really reminds me of Snapchat Spotlight. When that was first released, people were making a ton of money until it got saturated and it was just harder to make more money. When it was first released, people had no idea that Snapchat released it and people were uploading random videos to Spotlight and making tons of money. The first week Spotlight was introduced on Snapchat, a random lady was cooking a turkey for Thanksgiving and she decided just to upload that video onto Spotlight to her surprise she earned half a million dollars for one video i mean that's crazy life-changing money this video might be a letdown but that's part of being an entrepreneur entrepreneur you gotta expect things not to go as planned all the time and with this channel i want to be transparent as possible and show you the challenge basically raw even if i make zero dollars or thousands of dollars so with that being said i'm really excited for my next video about instagram reels and the money that i'm making there it's already proving to be successful so if you haven't already subscribe so you don't miss that video and if you're from the future i'll link it right here peace is this how they do asmr